Hello my friends, welcome back to Keto in the Chaos. My name is Tammy and on this channel I like to share all my tips and tricks on how I lost 200 pounds without bariatric surgery and how you can be successful on your own weight loss journey. So if that's what you're looking for, don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring the bell for more videos like this one to inspire you to get started. Tips. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I am so glad that you stopped by to check in on me on my week six, I think it is, of my 2022 weight loss journey. So far we have not had a lot of luck. Last week's video was a little bit depressing. Hopefully here in the near future we're gonna have a little bit of success, but as it stands I am doing a pretty good job maintaining, so I'm pretty happy with that. This was a pretty fun week. I did have a birthday party this week and so I indulged in a little bit of fun foods. Um, I had my grandbaby over and we got to celebrate with them on a different day, but also so this week was rather stressful because I went to see my plastic surgeon about the um, area up to the side of my belly button that is really sore that I've complained about quite a bit since I had my surgery. So I went to see him last month and he wanted me to wait a, a month and come back in and reevaluate and that appointment was this week. Also, that's gonna be in a different video. It'll be in my seven month scar update. Might already be out, I don't know, depending on the way I ended up editing these videos. So if you're looking for that, um, if I've already put it out, I will link it. And if I haven't, then keep an eye out for it. But suffice it to say, it was a rather stressful week and yet also a fun week. So that's where we are for this week. In this video, you're going to see my 360 body view. I show before and after each week. Pretty much since the beginning, there hasn't been a lot of change, but I'm still hoping, you never know. I also show everything that I ate to a degree. Sometimes I eat things outside of the recordings. And for example, sometimes like when I had cake and ice cream for my son's birthday, I forgot to film it. Things like that sometimes happen. So I'm not gonna put the calories on each day. These are just general ideas of what I eat for my meals. Sometimes I eat built bars outside of it or like a keto snack or something else like that. Or like, you know, like when I, we go to the movies, I don't always film my popcorn and candy and things like that, I always forget. But suffice it to say, these are my main meals. I try really hard not to snack outside of meal times, so it is a pretty good idea of what I'm eating. But I do wanna say up front that I don't always show every single thing that I'm consuming. I used to, but I don't always do that anymore. It just kinda gets tedious after a while. I'm gonna show you my weigh-ins every single day. This week was a doozy. I hope you enjoy the roller coaster. And we'll talk about that. And I'll also show you my dance classes and what I'm doing for exercise this week. So I hope you enjoy this little peek into my world. If you're if you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. If you're looking for the weight loss stuff, this is not that, but I do have playlists up in the, so if you go to my main page and click on the playlist tab, you can find playlists on all of the things that I've done for teaching and weight loss tips and what I've eaten in order to lose weight. Um, right now, I'm just trying to figure things out. I'm in the middle of a post surgery, trying to figure myself out kind of phase. Don't really know if I wanna eat carbs or not. Not really eating keto all the time. And so if you're looking for keto stuff, this may not be the video for you either. Um, I apologize, but I'm keeping it real. This is what I legit am eating in real life. Some people like it, some people don't. And that's fine with me. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm gonna eat what I feel like eating to be happy. So <laughs> that's where we are. All right, all that being said, let's get to the food. it is Monday it is a new video and um, I'm coming off of a very carby day yesterday plus I'm having some weird issues with the water weight so yes we saw the big two again today which was lame but it's three o'clock 
Actually, it's 2.44 and I have to leave at 3 o'clock and I just don't have time to even deal with anything today. Um, I haven't eaten anything. <sighs> yeah. So, I am about to have my first meal of the day, which is kind of small. Mondays I do carbs because I'm going to dance. So, I have 60 grams of oatmeal mixed with 120 grams of protein shake, the Premier brand. 10 grams of almonds and 20 grams of craisins and also Swerve and a Built Bar. And that's going to be my first meal of the day. I'll probably take some Built Bars with me or something to dance because I do not have time. And that's going to be my first meal of the day. This is my second meal of the day. I'm doing stuffs. I know this looks very odd. Alrighty, guys. I just got home from dance. It is almost 10 o'clock and I'm about to have my final meal of the day. I'm having rice for my carbs tonight and I'm also probably going to have some popcorn. So I'm having Hawaiian haystacks. It's 175 grams of rice topped by 6 ounces of shredded chicken with a gravy made from xanthan gum. 60 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese. 60 grams of tomatoes. 10 grams of slivered almonds. 20 grams of olives. Some green onions. I didn't measure. And is there anything else on there? Did I say 60 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese? I'm not sure. But anyway, that's going to be my last meal of the day. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. It's 1 o'clock on Tuesday. I just got back from the doctor finding out that I might have a hernia. And eating the big meals is starting to cause me a lot of pain. And so I'm going to try and divide up my meals a little better make smaller meals more often. So I am going to be having my yogurt later. And right now at one o'clock, I'm having the first part of my meal, eggs, bacon, cheese, and a bell bar. That's gonna be my first meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it is 3.30 and believe it or not, I am ravenously starving. So I made my yogurt, same macros as usual. Only today I had 50 grams of blueberries and everything else is the same. And that is gonna be my second meal of the day. Alrighty everyone, it's about 10 o'clock. I'm finally eating my last meal of the day. Having six wings tonight instead of nine, trying to make a smaller meal and a salad with ranch. That's gonna be my last meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it's almost 12 o'clock and I'm about to have my first meal. Like I said, I was dividing them up. I had my ultrasound this morning. I don't know the result yet. Um, so I, and I also have a podcast at one o'clock, so I want to make sure I eat something before that so I don't get hungry during it because I want my brain to work. <laughs> so good old standby having my same yogurt, though today I did 50 grams of blueberries in it, but everything else is the same. That's my first meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it's three o'clock. Podcast lady didn't show up for the appointment. That was awkward, but I'm about to have my second meal of the day. I'm having my egg and my cheese and my bacon. It's 34 grams and the Built Bar and one sugar free jello. That is going to be my second meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it's five o'clock. It's been a rather stressful day. Um, I just got notification from the ultrasound tech, not my actual doctor, but the ultrasound tech that they found no evidence of cyst or um, hernia. And while that should make me feel better, it doesn't. Because then what the heck is wrong with me? I don't know. But I'm sitting in the car. My kids are in dance. And I am going to have a third meal. It's snacks. Schoolyard snacks. A lowly gummy worms. And a built puff. And that is going to be my third meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it's 9 o'clock on Wednesday night. I'm about to have my final meal of the day. I'm having Quest Chip Nachos. This is one package of... Quest chips topped by 6 ounces of 90-10 ground beef, 30, 60 grams of salsa, 60 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese, 30 grams of sour cream, and 40 grams of tomatoes. That is going to be my last meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it is 2.30 on Friday. Do you love my blue 1980s look going on today? Yeah, baby. <laughs> anyway, it is 2.30. I'm leaving in an hour to go to dance. So I am having my first meal of the day right now. And then I will be bringing some stuff to the dance studio. It's my long day. 
So I'm starting out with my yogurt, same macros as usual, and my egg, cheese, and bacon, same macros as usual. No belt bar because I'm going to go ahead and take the belt bar later to the dance studio and have it there. And that is going to be my first meal of the day. Here is my second meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it's 9.30. I'm home from the dance studio. About to have my final meal of the day. Dave made me some amazing hamburger soup. So this is six ounces of ground beef with six ounces of canned tomatoes in a broth made from bouillon. And then I've got 80 grams of all the veggies. So carrots, broccoli, celery, cauliflower, and zucchini. And about 40 grams of onion. And that is going to be my last meal of the day. Howdy guys, it's 2 o'clock on Friday. Sorry I look so terrible. I have had a terrible night. My son was up throwing up all night long. I have had like 3 hours of sleep. It's been a long day. In the middle of the night, somebody wrote some nasty message on my YouTube channel. You know, guys, think before you do things like that, you know, because, like, I'm a regular person. Just, you know, regular human. Not like some random entity that you can just insult upon insult for no reason. <sighs> anyway, it's fine. It doesn't matter. About to eat my first meal of the day. I'm having my same yogurt. 40 grams of blueberries today. Um, I'm all out of bacon, so I decided to eat this Quest cookie. I noticed that I still had a couple of these. They're old. I want to eat it and get rid of it. Built Bar because I love them. Egg because my chickens laid it. And a piece of cheese. That is going to be my first meal of the day. Alrighty, guys. Here I am at the dance studio. I am going to have a little protein snack. A Built Puff and some schoolyard keto puffs. And that is going to be my second meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it's Friday night, and tonight I am having those air fryer three ingredient um, chicken nuggets. This time we made them with fat-free mozzarella cheese, so 12 and a half ounces of canned chicken, one egg, and 60 grams of mozzarella cheese, and then just mix it up and put it in the air fryer. They made it, he's super sweet, and then some Quest chips, and that is going to be my last meal of the day. <laughs> everyone it is one o'clock on saturday this is going to be a fun weekend i am going to be eating carbs today tomorrow probably and monday because it is today is my son's birthday tomorrow we're going out for valentine's day and the day after that is also valentine's day so i'm gonna be seeing what is gonna happen and some people might give me chocolate or you never know so since i'm a flexible eater that's what i'm doing today so i'm starting off with a gluten-free muffin with two pieces of provolone cheese and egg and 64 grams of Lando Frost ham. I'm also going to be having some low-fat cottage cheese with 30 grams of sugar-free Smucker's raspberry jam and 40 grams of blueberries. And that is going to be my first meal of the day. Guys, this is my birthday dinner, Xander's birthday. It's 11 o'clock on Sunday and I'm heading out to church soon. I am going to have a small meal before I leave. Tonight we are going out for um, an early Valentine's Day. So that's going to be fun. Last night was fun for my son's birthday. Yes, it was reflected on the scale. I expected that. Um, I didn't record, but I had cake and ice cream after my dinner. So I kind of, you know, whenever I have ice cream, expect the scale to cooperate like that. And of course... It's kind of a bummer you're going to see in the next segment, but my I was really swollen this morning, so my 360 isn't that great, but whatever. I knew that this was going to be a fun weekend. I was planning it to be a fun weekend, and so far, it's been pretty fun. So here's my first meal. I'm having oatmeal. So this is 65 grams of dried oats cooked with 10 grams of almonds, 20 grams of craisins, and some swerve, and then I topped it with 120 grams of Premier Protein Shake. And I'm also having a built bar. That is going to be my first meal of the day. Alrighty, everyone. It is 2.30. I am home from church. And I am not leaving for about three more hours to go eat dinner. And I am kind of peckish, hungry. And so I decided to have an old standby. Bet you couldn't guess. I'm having yogurt. Same macros as usual. That's going to be my second meal of the day.
Alrighty, well, did you enjoy that roller coaster ride? It was crazy. So I do have my weigh in, my weights and my calories for the week um, here. Since we just saw all of the weights, I'm just gonna go ahead and go over all of them really quickly and tell you what my average for the week is. So I start the, the food video on different days than I start the weights on this paper. So if they don't know, if the weights always don't line up with the video, there's it's because I don't exactly do them in the same order. All right, so let's start with the weigh-in on Sunday, which was the day after we had our grandbaby over and we had tacos and I had Rice Krispie treats and all kinds of yummy things. I just really felt like eating yummy snacks with my kids over and Sunday nights, I tend to do that. I didn't always do that, but I can do that now without having a full binge fest. And so I choose to. But my weight weigh-in the next morning was, ah! 200, which was a little bit crazy. I, I do not like seeing the two in front of my weight. Let's just be real. I feel like I going back, you know, all the way back to the start where my highest weight was 205 it, back after I had my surgery to when I started this whole thing in October, 203. And now I saw the 200 again, 16 weeks later, which is lame. I mean, there's no long and short of it. It's lame. I did not like seeing it. But thankfully, it didn't stick around very long. Next day, 198.8, 197, 196.2, 195.8, 193.8, which was birthday party day, and then 195.8. So I gained two pounds overnight from eating the ice cream and carbs and getting re-carbed, re re-carbed, <laughs> carbed back up, <laughs> as we shall, as the case may be which isn't too bad at all. Um, the average for the week is 196.8, which is only up 0.7 from last week. Last week was also up 0.7, so pound and a half in two weeks. I'm not stressing over it. I've been kind of up and down like that, the same pounds since last October, and it's just kind of where my body is sitting right now. It just seems to want to be there. I did track really, really well. So even though all of the foods that may not have been in the video, I did track them and I did be accountable. So back to the day that we had my grandbaby over, um, I ate 2,471 calories. The next day was 1997, then 1930, then 1846, then 1960, then 1876, and then birthday party day was 2675 for an average of 2108. And my maintenance calorie level that I determined at the end of my reverse diet, if you are looking for that playlist, it's also in the playlists up above in my main page, um, but uh, it's 2150. So that was basically just a teeny tiny bit lower than my regular maintenance calories, so I ate maintenance calories. Um, my protein for the week was all kind of like all over the place, but I hit over 200 protein almost like four days or three days, three days out of the week. But my average was only 190, which is low for what I would want to have for 2108 calories. So I tried to really get um, protein that is 10% in grams, so 40% in calories of my average calories. So if my average calories was 2108, my goal for protein would be basically 211. But I got 190, so I was short 30 grams average, which is kind of disappointing, but it is what it is. When you eat those high calories, it's hard to get that 40% protein because that is really hard to hit over 200 grams of protein a day. Let's be real about that. Um, fats and carbs averaged out to 86 equally, which that's what I kind of do. I tend to split my fats and carbs because I'm having those two carb days a week and then I'm having lower carb days all the other days and they end up averaging out. The days I have the lower carbs, I have higher fat and the days that I have the higher carbs, I have lower fat to, man to basically balance out the calorie number. So it was a great maintenance week, even though the weigh-ins were like, Rrr! I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> it was a maintenance week again, and that's pretty much what I'm doing every week. So I'm sorry if it's getting to be old news or old hat or boring, but it is my life. I'm literally showing exactly what I'm doing every single day. And so you guys get to see exactly what I'm doing. I'm not in the mood to do anything differently right now, but maybe I will be in the, fu in the future, who knows? 
who knows. So that's where I'm standing. Um, I didn't really see a lot of change in the 360 view. Um, I don't know if you guys did. It's up to you to decide if you think you see a change or not. I tend to just kind of go up or down in the way I look based on whether or not I'm swelling and still swelling from my tummy tuck seven months out. The day I went to see my plastic surgeon was Tuesday. Oh my gosh. There's an airplane and a big loud vehicle all at the same time right now. Dude. All right, I apologize for the motor sound. My neighbor across the street is just like running his car truck and I don't wanna wait. So <laughs> anyway, on Tuesday, I went to see my plastic surgeon. I will go into this in a lot more detail, like I said, in my seven month scar update, but um, he was worried that I had a hernia. So if you are wondering about that, on Wednesday, I had a very stressful day. It started out with the ultrasound in the morning, which is only stressful because they don't tell you anything. And I had another stressful experience because I was supposed to be doing a podcast and the setup that I got for programming my camera to work, you know, like run the sound and the, the high quality video into the cam into the computer didn't work. And at last second I was freaking out and having a major meltdown panic attack. And um, then she didn't actually show up for the podcast. So I have not rescheduled the podcast partly because it gave me such horrible anxiety, that whole thing. And I just was kind of upset. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not at this point. I just, I'm kind of like letting it go because <laughs> I know she didn't mean to like miss it. It wasn't on purpose, but it was really stressful. It made eating that day very difficult. It made my life feel very difficult. It made me have horrible headache. I had really bad back pain. I just felt like somebody was literally sitting on me the whole day. I couldn't accomplish all of the things I needed to accomplish. And when it's like that, oh, it's so hard not to binge eat. And I just was fighting it with every single tool in my shed. And I did pretty good considering that was... 1930 calories, which was one of the lower days of the week. So obviously I did okay, but it was hard and I did not appreciate that. So it was kind of rough. It was kind of rough this week. And dancing was rough because I wasn't sure if um, it was gonna be my last time and so I was kind of emotional, um, especially in lyrical, because we started this really beautiful piece. I'm gonna share it with you guys. And I literally, at the end of class, just broke down sobbing because I was so sad that I might have to quit. Anyway, all that will be in the next, in the seven month scar update. So if you're looking for all of that information on like what happened, I'm not gonna go into it here. It's too much for this video. So. Let's have something more fun. Let's watch the, the exercise clips. You can see that pretty dance sequence and you can see my clogging and how it went with clogging. And hopefully it won't be the last time you'll see those things, but I, I was into it that day thinking it was going to be my last day. So enjoy it while you can. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. All right, on to the exercise.
fun. I mean, I didn't look nearly as graceful in the video as I felt. <laughs> Needless to say, I really felt like I looked a lot prettier than that. And when I watched the video back, I was kind of like, hmm. But I was still enjoying that little combination. And I kind of hope that that's part of the dance at the end of the year because I thought it was so pretty. But yeah, I don't know exactly what's going to be happening here in the future and I'm not going to stress over it. I'm not going to discuss it in this video right now because it's kind of point is moot. I maybe discuss it next week if it, if it plays into next week. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm glad that you're here to support me. If you are looking for a ways to support the channel, I have all of that information in the about section below. I have links to products that I use all the time. I have discount codes. I have Amazon links to my favorite products there um, for both um, weight loss and tummy tuck care and I just have like my Patreon and ways to donate things like that and of course my Amazon wish list if you just feel like brightening my day with a gift because a lot of people like to do that I always keep that nice and updated so there's a lot of things there that I'm wishing for if you wanted to surprise me with something because sometimes I really need it and you guys really do a good job on boosting my confidence and sometimes people come on here and they try and tear me down and I'm glad that a lot of you most of you are are just here for support and realize that I'm just a regular person who's just trying to figure things out. I'm not like some guru or genius. I just figured some stuff out and I like to talk about it and I'm good at talking. So I'm glad that you're still here. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe on your way out and like this video and I will talk to you all again soon. Hey.